Dobro dan svima i u moje ime. Ja sam Jelena i do kraja našeg današnjeg sajma ću biti moderatorka naših prezentacija. Kao što ste čuli moju koleginicu Jovanu, sljedeća zagovornica jeste Marija sa Univerziteta Luis. Radi se o univerzitetu koji se nalazi u Rimu i ima četiri fakulteta. To je ono što je specifično za njega, ali naravno prepuštam reč Mariji koja će nam reći nešto više o ovom univerzitetu i o programima. Hello, Maria. Buongiorno. Hi, buongiorno. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm fine as well and very happy to see you again, actually, at our uh, study fair, actually, uh, study in Italy this time. I hope you will uh, have an amazing experience with us because the platform is um, amazing, as you, as you can see. Um, and I'm really happy to uh, welcome you on board and give you uh, the floor. Actually, I will follow uh, your presentation and I will um, uh, follow uh, questions so we can um, leave a couple of minutes at the end of the presentation uh, to answer those questions. Okay, sounds great. Okay. I'm gonna share the screen. Okay. Yes, please. All right. Okay, you can start. I will mute myself. Okay. All right, so perfect. Thank you uh, for the introduction and thanks everyone for being here. Uh, just quickly, my name is Maria. I work at the International Orientation Office at Lewis University in Rome. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a very quick overview of our university and our programs. And then at the end, if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So just a few words about who we are. Uh, Lewis is a private university based in Italy, in Rome. We are specialized in social sciences. So we have programs that you know, are about economics, business management, uh, political science and law. Um, the university was founded towards the end, late of the 70s, uh, by Confindustria, which is the largest confederation of Italian companies and enterprises. Uh, and hence, we still have a very close relationship with the corporate world, but we'll talk about it uh, later in a minute. Um, I'm not sure how much familiar are you guys with the rankings, but if you are not yet, here is my first uh, piece of advice for you. Uh, it's actually quite important to understand where a university is uh, positioned in terms of rankings uh, because um, attending a university, graduating from a university uh, that is quite well placed um, helps you open quite a you know, few doors when you finalize and finish your degree. Uh, for Lewis, so we rank first in Italy among private universities according to the main national ranking, which is Il Sole 24 Ore. Um, internationally, we are quite positioned, uh, we are positioned quite well as well, sorry <laughs> for the repetition. So um, the Department of Political Science ranks in the top 100 on the QS ranking, and the Department of Business and Management is in the top 100 on the Financial Times. Uh, also, uh, the university uh, has the uh, Equis certification, which is a quite tough one, and only 1% of the business schools worldwide have it. Um, few numbers. So we said that the university is specialized in social sciences, and we have four departments. The Department of Economics and Finance, Business and Management, Political Science, and Law. Uh, we are a middle-sized university because we have less than 10,000 students and we do want to keep it that way. This helps us help you guys. Um, this allows us to really get to know you, know your names, very often also know your families and get in touch with them and support them as well. But most of all, it gives you the possibility to have a very close relationship with our faculty. The student professor ratio is seven to one, which means that you really, really always have access to the professors. Also, this helps us support you when you are struggling with specific subjects. And this is why we have an abandonment rate of 0%, which means that nobody is left behind. Honestly, when I well used to go around now a little bit less, but talk to you online, um, very often I'm asked, yeah, but you know, what's, what's your value? What's the value of Lewis? Why Lewis? So 
this is quite a complicated <laughs> question to, to answer. Uh, but in my personal opinion, uh, Lewis bases upon two very big columns. One is represented by the international breadth that the university has. You can see this not only you know, through the uh, several nationalities which are represented on campus, but also uh, through the many uh, agreements that we have uh, with universities worldwide. So for instance, uh, we have 51 double degrees and structured partnerships and more than 300 agreements with universities in 57 uh, countries in the world. The other very big column, uh, we mentioned it a little bit earlier, it's represented by Confindustria and the relationship that we have with the corporate world. Um, this obviously allows us to help you find your first internship while you're still uh, studying with us and support you also afterwards. Uh, this is why 90% of our alumni are fully employed after within one year from graduation and on average our graduates find their first job within two months. Uh, these two columns are in a way connected uh, through our alumni. Right now we have about 45,000 uh, worldwide. Um, same within the alumni perspective, um, I decided to put just a few of them here that though can give you an idea of you know, the fields the university uh, is connected into. Uh, so I hope that you guys still uh, know Candy Crush, which is a quite popular game. Um, it was uh, created, so the founder of uh, King, which is the brand that owns Candy Crush, uh, is Riccardo Zacconi, which is one of our alumni. I'm sure you all know Apple, Luca Maestri is the CFO. Uh, here also I put the, the, the brand, the symbol of the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, because Luis sees the university in Italy with the highest number of graduates that then start a career in diplomacy. This means that pretty much wherever you go, in the Italian embassies or consulates or institutions, there is at least one Luis graduate working there. Uh, moving to the services. So I mentioned before that we are private and hence in terms of services, we really do offer anything you can think of. Um, for instance, if you need support with the visa and of course with the residence permit once you're here, no problem at all. We have an office that is dedicated to that and helps students with the process uh, with also like um, opening a bank account, for instance, if needed. Whatever you need, like that implies working from a bureaucratic point of view, there is someone here to help you to do that. Um, another important point is that we offer housing support and accommodation. Uh, we know that one of the main struggles for international students and for your families as well is to understand where you're going to stay, where you're going to live. Uh, so the university has dorms, which are all around the four campuses that we have. Uh, the dorms are, most of them are uh, ex-hotels that the university bought and renovated. And so, you know, they still have all the hotel services. So like uh, there are maids that clean your room. There is a, the bathroom is always in the room. There is a kitchen on each floor, the laundry at the bottom. Uh, it's 100% safe because the, uh, the receptionist is to, the reception is 24 hours, etc. cetera. Uh, only Louis students can get in. Um, so this is one of the options. Otherwise, if you do not like the idea of staying in a dorm, you can find a, a room or even a, um, a flat for your own um, in uh, through Casa Luis, which is basically our real estate agency. Uh, they only handle uh, Luis students, which means that if you decide to uh, rent a room in a shared apartment, the apartment would be shared only with other students, which makes it quite safe as well. Um, one of the main services that we offer uh, is related to the tutoring system. Uh, so you will have both university tutors that help you understand how the university is run, where you can you know, book exams, how to develop your study plan, etc. And academic tutors, which instead help you when you struggle with specific subjects. It happens to everybody during the academic career, but no worries at all. They can meet you even every day and understand together with you uh, how to overcome the obstacle. Um, there is one thing that is really, really important for us and is the concept of sustainability. 
Lewis is 100% plastic free, so you would never find like a bottle of water uh, made of plastic here on campus. And among these, one of the initiatives that we have pursued is to support the green mobility. So on campus, we have our own uh, cars that can be uh, rented through the app. So it's basically a car sharing service. Uh, and they are green, so they are electrical. So you can, you know, book them, take them, whatever you want, as long as you bring them back, because you know they might die on the way. Um, another very important thing is that uh, the university is fully bilingual, and the programs that we're going to see right now are 100% taught in English. So Italian is not required at all, zero. However, we do believe that it is important for you to at least try to learn the basics. And so we do offer free Italian classes for international students. They're not mandatory, they're optional, but you know, it's a very, it's, it's really important to try to learn a little bit, also to understand better the local culture. Together with this, if you like, we can match you with an Italian student that can be you know, your language exchange partner. And then last but not least, uh, all the people like me that work at, in the international offices at Lewis have had international experiences as well as a student, like you will be. So we know that studying abroad, it's so much fun, but it can you know, be hard sometimes. You could get homesick. So if that's the case, no worries at all. We have a counseling service. You just, you know, book a meeting, talk to them, to our psychologists, counselors that are, you know, there for you and they will support you in, you know, getting back to be happy and enjoy your experience abroad. Uh, another important thing is that we really care about sport and, you know, the health of our students. So we have a sport academy, um, which is basically created of, on the one hand for students that are professional athletes. As you can see, for instance, these three students um, participated into the uh, Olympic Games representing Italy. So if you are an athlete, you could, you know, be selected as a student athlete, maybe even be awarded of a, a sport scholarship uh, but if you are not uh, a professional but you still are very much into sport you can still join the academy and maybe uh, even join one of our teams um, I thought that it would be good you know to share some pictures of our campuses so you guys have a little bit of an idea of how the, the campuses look like they're pretty much all like uh, the pictures that you see so there is a central villa surrounded by gardens that can be used you know for picnics or just to relax during the classes uh, every uh, campus has uh, particular spaces where students can chill out here you see the language cafe which is one of the favorite ones um, and I decided to put also a picture of um, one of the rooms in the dorm so that you can have an idea of how they look like. Moving to the academics, which is obviously the main <laughs> part. Uh, so we have three bachelor programs, uh, which are 100% taught in English, economics and business, management and computer science and PPE, which is politics, philosophy and economics. Uh, all the bachelor degrees in Italy last three years. Um, and uh, the, the one in economics and business also gives you the possibility to pick your major. So basically the first two years are in common for all students. And then the third year, you can choose if you want to focus on economics, finance and management. And this you know, gives you the possibility to study a little bit of each field and then understand uh, which one is you know, the best fit for you. And so you can you know, be more aware when you actually make your decision. Um, all these programs, of course, give students the possibility to have an international experience and go abroad. Um, here I just, you know, wrote some of them. Um, but of course, Luis is also part of the Erasmus program. And so there is really like plenty of opportunities if you want to make your international experience even more international, which we obviously recommend. In particular, the PPE program also allows you to uh, apply for a double degree uh, with Sciences Po Bordeaux, uh, which basically implies that the students would spend one year uh, at Sciences Po in France and earn at the end of the three years two degrees, one from Louis and one from Sciences Po. Um, in terms of master programs, we uh, really have plenty that are taught uh, in English. Most of them don't even have the Italian version, so they are uh, only in English. 
Uh, of course, there are uh, programs related to economics, finance, management, uh, um, uh, business, uh, marketing. We have a joint program with the BI, Norwegian Business School, in marketing as well. And that also implies one year in Oslo and then one year at Lewis. Um, and of course, you know, we have uh, a lot of programs related to um, the political science and uh, with sp very specific majors, for instance, in diplomacy or cultural heritage and so on. How to join us is quite easy because everything is done online. Uh, so all you have to do is, you know, log in our uh, application system. Um, we need you to uh, give us some personal information, basically a kind of CV that can be, be built in the application form. Uh, we need the most recent transcripts that you have, so we need to see what you studied and the grade that you got. Um, we need an email address of one of your teachers or professors that becomes your sponsor. Um, the sponsor is someone that can be reached out to by the admission board if needed uh, to gather a little bit more information about you, your profile, your background, your studies, etc. Uh, if you have an SAT or an ACT or a GMAT or a GRE, IELTS, TOEFL, Italian uh, language proficiency, etc., all these documents are optional. They can be uploaded, but they're not mandatory to apply. Uh, and then we do have a bunch of scholarships for uh, international students only. Uh, they are merit based, which means, you know, that they are given automatically to the best, most talented students uh, right after the admission results. So you would basically receive the admission uh, offer by email. And then in the following few, uh, two or three weeks, you would also receive an email that uh, informs you about the scholarship if you did get one. Uh, we have four kinds of scholarships. So the smallest one covers one installment out of three. Uh, the second best covers two installments out of three. Then of course we have the full tuition and then we have a full tuition plus accommodation and canteen on campus. Here you have my contact details. Uh, of course, feel free to well ask any questions right now, but also reach out in the future or just ask the Academica, which is of course our partner over there. I hope it was quite informative, even if a little bit quick. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you, Maria, for this lovely presentation. Uh, and it was uh, very informative, as always. Uh, however, we have one question, and it's regarding um, uh, the selection criteria for bachelor studies. Can you please tell us what is actually the most important part of the application for those who would like to apply for bachelor studies? Sure. So it depends a little bit, of course, on the program the student is applying for. Uh, if the program that they're selecting is quantitative, so it's either economics or computer science, I think one of the main you know, things that the board would look at is definitely the mathematic grade. Um, if it's PPE, then of course it's still important because there is a big component of economics there as well. Uh, but I think there are, you know, other subjects that they would look at. In general, it is definitely, you know, it, it's very important the GPA that the student has, but that is not the only criterion that it's seen, that is looked at. It's more like an overall assessment of the application. And this is why, if needed, the professors also organize uh, interviews with the candidates so that, you know, they can actually learn a little bit more. Yeah, sure. And another question comes from one uh, master's student uh, who is interested in um, uh, some admission test for uh, application. Is there any kind of admission test for master's studies? No. Uh, international students do not uh, need to take an admission test. Or the application is done online. So the admission process is different. If they are studying in Italy already, graduating from an Italian university, then yes, they have to take the test. If they are studying abroad and so their uh, degree will be granted by a foreign university, then no, everything is done online. 
So if a student comes from Italian university, uh, she or he will have to take an admission test. Um, actually, we do have uh, a couple of students, um, Serbian students with Serbian passport, uh, who are interested in um, uh, application uh, at uh, Louis University. So it's very important to have it on our mind and to spread uh, the word. Uh, however, I think uh, there is another topic another information that we should emphasize, um, it's that Luis does not have typical uh, deadlines. Uh, so it's rolling admission. Uh, can you tell us something more about that and how does it work? Sure. Uh, so the very last day to apply is June 11th. And as you were saying, the admission is on a rolling formula, which means that as soon as a student submits the application, we start evaluating it. So the outcomes are given, you know, step by step. It's not just on a specific date, everyone receives the outcome. No, it's based on when they apply. Um, so this implies that every student on average receives the outcome in about eight weeks. So this is what they should keep in mind when they apply. About two months, actually, about eight weeks. Months. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for this. And um, last but not the least, I would like to ask you about accommodation options. Uh, I think you already covered a bit of that uh, topic, but every time um, oh, we meet our potential students, uh, we have to come to that um, topic. So how hard <laughs> is to get um, a room or accommodation um, in, in Rome? Is it, do you offer some possibilities uh, for international students? Yes, definitely. This is one of the you know, most important topics, not only for students, Please. but for parents as well. Yeah. Um, so it is honestly, I mean, quite tough. We do have about 9,000 students and about 1,000 accommodations. So of course, like there is competition. We do try to support international students because we know that it's harder for them, especially the first year, especially bachelor students, which, you know, uh, might have a little bit more, you know, troubles, problems finding it. Um, it's also about timing. The application for the dorm opens in May. So students should, you know, apply as soon as it's open because it's on a first come first served <laughs> idea. Uh, so that is definitely uh, one thing to keep in mind. But I honestly think that the fact that Louis also has a real estate agency uh, is, you know, quite reassuring because through the agency, they can find the room even in August, even right before arriving to Rome, as long as, you know, they're quite flexible in terms mm -hmm. of the kind of accommodation, etc. cetera. Um, it's not that hard. <laughs> It's great to hear that. And I have to mention that uh, we uh, we did a couple of days ago, we did uh, an Instagram live uh, session with uh, our students, uh, Milica, mm -hmm. who explained us um, what she actually uh, did to get uh, a proper room uh, within uh, your accommodation offer. So I have to remind all our students that they can uh, watch uh, that Instagram live and get uh, some further information and her professional, uh, op sorry, personal experience, <laughs> which is very valuable uh, when it comes to um, application to your university. Uh, okay, Maria, do you maybe have something to add? Because we are uh, like, uh, 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 we already answered all the questions. Uh, I don't know. I just hope that, you know, you guys will decide to at least take a chance and see how it goes, the application with us. Um, hopefully everyone will get out of COVID very, very soon. So we will be able to, you know, host you here in person and organize a face-to-face -face meeting next time. Yeah, we are hoping for that as well. And I do uh, hope that I will meet you in person, maybe uh, maybe on your campus. Um, and thank you very much for, for the presentation. I hope you will enjoy uh, your meetings with Students 101 uh, as well. And um, see you soon. See you soon. Thank you again for the invitation and good luck to everybody. Bye-bye. Have bye. a nice day. Bye. Ciao.